Hey folks, Mike and McGee here. The boys are hooking up our little four-wheeler trailer. We're getting ready to grab a barrel of corn, shell it, and plant some of it. Let's do it. Hiya. Hiya, Doc. What you doing with that nanner? Looks <laughs> like David got finished milking, filled his pail so full. Dave, we're getting ready to get corn. We're gonna start shelling. Okay. Looks like you got a full pail. Yeah. <laughs> let me ride, let me ride. Get in here, dude. Get out here, dude. Help him, dude. I'm very glad, son. Hey, you gonna shell that corn, son? Oh man, Jeez. what are you doing hanging out with the buzzards when you need to be flying with the eagles? <laughs> <laughs> you look at it and tell me if you can shell it, son. Shell it all for me. <laughs> can you shell all that? Hey, 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 not down in there, we'll never get it. Look at that. Folks, this guy here is done. <laughs> oh, he's bad. <laughs> He's bad. <laughs> Anybody can share one that's already started, son. Get a hold of one of these tight ones and start it. That tight. Hey, all right, we're fixing to get this corn filled. I've got basically four different types of corn I'm gonna plant this year. I've got my Guatemalan yellow corn. I've got my trucker's favorite white corn. I've got my Guatemalan trucker's favorite cross corn. Eric Hale off of YouTube sent me some blue corn. And I think he might have sent two, I think he might have sent a blue corn cross as well. So I may actually have five types to plant this year. But we're excited about it. We're gonna get into it. People keep always ask why we shell by hand and we don't use a sheller. That's because you've got steel on steel ripping them kernels off and they are tight. I mean, it's not easy. You can ask Joe. And when that hits that, it, potentially cracks those kernels and then you don't end up with a good stand in your field. And it's very important to have a good thick stand when you're not spraying Roundup. We're strictly cultivation. So it's important to get a very good thick stand. All this goes in there. Yes, sir, buddy. have a lot of gallons or or buckets or something put this seed in it's gonna take a lot more than two gallons oh you got five okay as you see folks it don't take long to get a pile of seeds in a hurry look at that beautiful all right, I'm gonna put it on a time lapse and we're gonna get this knocked out. <laughs> you 
You gonna go with us, Plancorno man? No, I gotta go over there and get busy, old man. Oh man, you never go with us and do no fun. I can't help it. If it wasn't going out in the lake, you just won't go with us. You'll go out and play, but you won't go to work. I can't help it. We, we, we're going to we're going to go town today. Ah. Go to town. Yeah, she's gonna take some pictures of birds of the. Son, going to town is for the birds. You ought to be in the cornfield working like a yeah, dog, son. I know, I know, but we gotta do that. Oh, man. Then we're gonna go shopping and then we're gonna back Shop home. till you drop. Folks, this guy lives the life of Riley, Riley son. Ho, 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 ho. Old man's gonna hitch a ride. Oh, man. <laughs> Don't fall off, old man! Alright, we made it out here. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. This is the old Alice Chalmers planter. Last year we had a problem with it coming one side up, the other side up. I got an excellent comment by one of y'all telling me about the two valves up front and that once you raise it up, shut the first shut the second valve and then it will allow it to all come up at the same time because the one is a slave valve or whatever. We tried that and it didn't work and I think that whoever rigged this up rigged it up backwards. So those, those hoses need to be swapped, I believe. But they don't wanna come open too easy and I'm afraid I'm gonna screw something up and today's planting day kind of late to be working on it. So we're just gonna deal with the same old issue we dealt with last year. The first one we're gonna plant is this field here and we're gonna plant it with the Guatemalan corn. That's the pure yellow, orange, if you will, corn. And it's been a real good corn for us. It grows tall, makes great silage, great corn as far as ear corn as well, but we do mostly silage because we get more food value for our animals. All right, we're gonna get out here and see if we can't plant this corn. These old planters, I'll get that one. These old planters have an issue if you don't hit that ground just right. It will clog that up and the corn don't wanna drop out. We have issues with spiders too, but we've got it all cleaned out and it's already dropping corn good. So let's get out in the field and let's plant some corn. If you remember the old days of the boys pushing the little one row corn planter as I tilled, Give us a thumbs up. We are very happy we're not doing that, aren't we, boys? All right, we got that field planted. We have still got quite a bit of the yellow corn in the hoppers. So instead of digging it all out so that we can plant the blue corn, we're just gonna put our mixed hybrid seed in with this corn, since that's basically what it's mixed with anyway, and plant the field over at the house. The boys are already on their way. Let's go. Yes. 
Ist das weh, ne? Ja, mein Baby. Aber es ist genug. I can't look back or I'll drive crooked. I don't want to drive crooked, I want to drive straight. It ain't perfect, but it's pretty close. Beautiful dry dirt, really perfect for planting. Clouds in the sky, look like it might rain. Perfect for planting, everything looking good. Alright, there's the end of the field right there. Get this little lever like this. <laughs> Planting in this old red clay here. Now I gotta hit this to where I, I'm not too close to that previous row because I want to be able to cultivate without cutting the row out. This here's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Just like that, we've got six rows planted already. Oh, there goes a good boy. open it because I didn't want to lose the seed. He's got the crossbred ones right here. What you hear is this bag popped open just a little bit. He got them full, nice and full for me. Here, hold this, Matt. This one popped open a little bit. Now these have got to be the crossbred ones. This is a cross between Trucker's Favorite Guatemalan yellow and the blue corn and you can clearly see all three here hold this young man all three are represented very well don't spill it because it's open all right we got one two three four five bags of the cross and we got one bag of the pure pure goodness right here the pure blue so i'm gonna plant the pure blue in its own row i guess There's quite a bit more in here that probably leaked out of here. That's quite a bit of seed. Open this here up, Joe, and we'll just pour it in. Um, that, that, some of this, since they were open, it cut I don't see anything but pure blue. Do you see anything but pure blue in there? Yeah. You may want to pour equal amounts in and try to run two rows on that upper side where they're a little shorter. 
that might help keep them. I make a little more pure. Dump all that in there. Look in this one, see if it looks like this one has more than that one. Yeah. All right, pour this rest of this in there. That thing tickled me and I thought it was a bug. Ooh. It's tickly. <laughs> All right, let's go plant it real quick and we'll come back and we will do these cross breeds. I've got a special design. I'm going to plant this field way different than the other fields. It's going to be designed for hunting and it's going to be designed for making more nitrogen during the summer, even though we are growing corn. So you're going to want to stay tuned for this. Let's go do it, boys. All right, here we go. sort of see my plan i planted these two rows planted these two rows hopefully they're thickly planted was there any left yeah so there might be enough to even do uh, a little more or i can just mix it with the mixed corn but i'm leaving a path in the middle wide enough to get my tractor and tiller in or my disc whichever one after this corn gets up about so tall i'm going to come in and plant this entire field with soybeans. The plan is to have the corn just a little ahead of the soybeans. By the time the soybeans get about this high, they're done. The corn is just keep it going. So that's the plan to take the soybeans. This field needed more nitrogen bad last year. Now we laid the clover to it. So hopefully the corn's gonna tell us whether we did it enough or not. That's one reason to put the blue corn in this field in the first place. I want to be able to know that's my litmus test but at the same time we're going to hunt this field we need some row spacing wide enough that we can see deer in there and also at the same time i want soybeans in here and then when the soybeans are done for i can disc them if i want to leave the corn standing i can leave the corn standing i can get my crimson clover back in here for the fall next year so that's the plan on this Let's go back, finish filling these hoppers with the seed that he gave me. We're going to plant this field. This plan I've got is not something that I've never done before, but I haven't done it on YouTube. I think I did it the year before I started making YouTube videos, and I'll show you a video right here. This is how pretty that was. It was absolutely gorgeous. It worked like a charm, and I even walked right up on a deer that was standing in there eating those soybeans in amongst that corn. Now that is a win-win situation right there. Make sure you get equal amounts yeah. in each one. This one we're gonna have to do half Well, we could do, uh, which one uses the corn faster? That one. This one, we'll just put this whole one in there. So it's yet to be seen that this is gonna be that good, but if it is that good, I'll be a very happy camper. I'd like to have some cornbread made out of that tri-colored mixture. <laughs> and he got, he made some really nice kernels. Very healthy looking seed. This is Indiana grown. If you know anything about Indiana, they grow corn. I'm going to put a link to his channel in the descriptions. Eric Hale, look him up. And I give him some corn seed back a few years ago. Him and his daughters and his boys grew it. And they got on step ladders. It looked like it was well over 15 foot tall. It was amazing. We're going to get out here and plant this real quick. And hopefully, this plan will work. Got it knocked out as you saw hopefully you're able to see it in the time lapse but we planted straight away from the tree stand it's right here the deer blind 
And then when we got over so far, we turned and ran at a 45 degree angle from this horn so that up in that deer blind, we're looking down through there, we can still see. Will it work? It's yet to be seen, but it's gonna be fun to see it happen. So this is gonna be cultivated for a couple, two or three times, and then we're gonna plant it full of soybeans. I will be keeping you posted on the progress of this field. It's dry as a chip, and believe it or not, we didn't even get clogged one time on this thing. I'm thinking last year we got clogged was because there was some moisture in the ground. Now it can rain and we'll be extremely, extremely happy. So anyway, that's all we got for you today. Hope you have a great day. We'll see you on the next video.